just going to share this with you. <clears throat> okay. Give me one second here. You're good. Are you trying to present? There we go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So here, I just put a couple of highlights together. You're good with that? Perfect. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So the way I run it is I've got exchange on the right side, switch on the left side. Okay. okay. Um, and then they have counters. I couldn't find a... Uh, so the counter for exchange on the right side is empty mm -hmm. and the counter for switch on the right side, uh, left side is side. Gotcha. So we have, we have exchange, empty, switch, side. Okay. Uh, so here we were going to run switch and we brought it up just on the left side of the floor anyways. And so what essentially all we have is we've got a dribble exchange here. And then we've got a naked exchange here. Okay. Um, so basically, like if, if we were running, uh, like that's almost like a Princeton inside exchange or forward yeah, forwards out. out. Yeah, forwards right. out. Yeah. And the whole purpose of that is just simply to get, um, to get to get a little movement. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, now the key is this: when we, what I was really focusing on or trying to get our guys to do is this backside corner after the exchange here on switch and this guy comes here, he needs to, he's going to exchange down to the corner, deep corner. Mm -hmm. He needs to get about just in the slot, just outside lane line extended, preferably. Yeah. Um, if he gets a little wider, that's fine. Um, what we tend to do off this, we tend to catch and kind of hesitation, dribble, dribble, dribble. And we get ourselves more to the midline before we start attacking mm -hmm. the space that's created here. Cause watch what happens with our point guards. So um, we go here with this exchange. He stays the new, the, the new ball handler, the corner wing, mm -hmm. he comes up, he makes a pass and we run it like a through. Yeah. 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 Right there. So the spacing that we have here is actually really good. Yeah. It's a big gap. Yeah, if we get him to cut and what normally like through, like it runs like almost like a ball screen. Yeah. Um, I started to cut him deeper because then we eliminated any easy switches. Right. I like that. And so all he had to do is get downhill, hard inside out, and attack this triple gap here. Yeah. Um, Trevor does a decent job of this, but notice how his first dribble is lateral. Yeah. You and, almost, you almost want him to like crab a couple to the middle and then go downhill. I want him to go downhill, hard inside, hard outside in. Uh -huh. um, so if he attacks this foot, I mean, you look at his stance already. Yeah, he's already open to it. Yeah, so if he dives hard and he attacks that foot, he jabs out and goes in. He's got an angle. Mm -hmm. um, you know, but anyway, he takes a couple dribbles. See that a little hezzy. Yeah, you know, he does that a lot. He takes a couple kind of hezzy dribbles to get himself in a situation where he can kind of create on his own instead of just attacking space. Gotcha. Hezzy crow. Um, help me out. Switch and exchange. Switch. It switch is basically the, the dribble handoff or the loop. It's the exact same thing on one side or the other. Oh, so okay, okay, okay. Yeah, exchange is the exact same thing you just saw. Run on the right. Switch is running the left. Gotcha. Okay. So I thought, I thought that reversal pass, like I thought switch didn't have a reversal pass and exchange did. Uh, no exchange. I mean, if the, if we run exchange, ideally the ball is run on the right side. Okay. If we run switch, it's running the left side. So if we were running exchange and the ball was in the left, we would pass it to the right and we would run it over here. It's just a right side, left side thing. Um, yeah. You know, my guys knew that our E's, our exchange and empty calls are on the right-hand side. They knew the RS's switch and, uh, and okay. the side. Okay. So, so for, for me, for my kids, um, I'm probably just going to have switch and just not care what side is brought up on, just one action. 
Yeah. And then you could tell them, I mean, they can feel free to reverse it if they want to. The only reason why I did that is because it allowed me then the ability to kind of manipulate who yeah. was getting and receiving those drives. So mm -hmm. let's say, let's say I, I had my best driver in the right side corner. Mm -hmm. Right. If I had a, my great driver right side corner, well, then I would want to run switch because yeah. yep. that brings him up. And then that brings the opposite corner, comes up with the handoff, passes it to him. And now he can get downhill. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you put, then you put a playmaker in the corner <clears throat> flattened out for a drop loop kick. Exactly. Yeah. Or just the DDK or baseline drive. I mean, there's there's a lot of things there. So it allowed me the ability to. um to just kind of have a little bit more control over who gets the ball, when and how, and, you know, rather than just saying, Hey, we're going to run exchange and we're going to reverse it. But when you reverse it and go exchange, well, all of a sudden now you're maybe your guy in the right hand corner has no left hand. Well, he's supposed to be lifting up with that. And now you've got a guy who's got no left hand after the reversal, trying to attack a triple gap with his left hand. And yeah. <clears throat> so, Gotcha. That's um, and what are your what are the counters? Okay, so let's see. I'm looking forward here. Okay, so this was here. I'll let you see. This is kind of run. This is uh, switch with the reversal. Should be attacking that gap. You can see how it opens up that corner DDK. Yeah. yeah. And I saw my boy all the time up here just screaming for us. I appreciate that. Oh, I was going nuts. I had a good time. You were. All right. This is – okay. So, this is an exchange. Yeah. The ball was brought up on the left. He just reversed it before he got across half. Opens hand up off, cut right through. Righty. Now, what you're seeing is Jaden is a good, hard right-hand driver. Mm -hmm. you know, uh, I would almost – he has the ability to just get downhill quick. Um, and that's when my big doink to catch. <laughs> so I mean, as you can see just the flaw all it does is just simple. Just get a just get a yeah. little bit of movement with the defense, make them think they're guarding something, and it opens yeah. up our normal drives. I mean, my brain, so my brain's going, I could just I could just drill that with three and four man drills all the time. Oh yeah. And you could yeah, it's I mean, it really depends on who what guys we do that with these top three guys. Um yeah, where, where you go, you got your <clears throat> Your your guard ball side corner, um, and yeah, we, we got two high. And now what we'll do is, our we have our two high and wise and our ball side low and late. Yeah, uh, who was the original point guard? But what we'll do is, uh, we'll start our our driver down in the corner and lift him up on the exchange over here, just so it's a little more game like. So you have you basically you got two low and lates, and you got your point guard. So when the exchange happens here on the wing, that's his cue to start lifting up. Yep. He gets up to shorten the pass, pass, dive through, and then he looks at that downhill drive. And then from here, we've done exchange drop, um, which is a really great option because you got nothing but space. If he starts right. playing up that lane, look at – I mean, that space becomes even more so because we get a little movement here. I like it. So – yeah, let me see. I don't know what's going on. Huddles nice and slow. Okay. But yeah, I mean, yeah, that's kind of what that looks like. I think, yeah, this is, uh, okay, so this is the start of empty. And okay. empty inside, empty inside are the exact same thing, exact same thing. The only difference you're seeing is when the point guard dribble exchanges here, instead of going to the ball side corner, He's going to vacate out opposite. Mm -hmm. So you've got basically three heavy guards on this right-hand side. And your post is not going to stay over here. He's actually going to relocate wide because he's setting up for the flare for our new ball handler. here. Got it. Okay, so we'll kind of see this develop. And I think Trevor actually, like Trevor does, Trevor usually gets a shot. So, All right, so this is empty. Point guard cuts through, big shifts, gets the screen. Okay, okay. So 
is so this is instead of pass and cut to clear out, it's pass and receive a flare. Yep. To a to a naked side. Oh, Mike, that's nice. That's that's some Princeton action out of this. I like that. Yes. Yeah. And so that's that's kind of what I was trying to do. Is you know we've talked about marrying the two, but without losing dribble drive, right? I mean, yeah. I you know that number series we talked about um, the, it, when we were hanging out having pizza and stuff. Yeah, I, yeah. Don't yeah. think about how wonderful that was. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> Missed those times. Yeah, it was. Um, I started running that number series, and to be perfectly honest with you, I got absolutely nothing out of it. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of factors that go into play there, but a lot of it was we just never really got into the right spots and we don't execute screening actions very well. Um, you know, because I, I, for a lot of different reasons, but we just don't execute angles and screens and timing very well. Um, and so we kind of, we kind of pitched those later in the season um, cause they just didn't give us anything. Yeah. Well, and once you once you have the dribble drive in place, and you you know learn to like how your kids play in space, I'm kind of the, in the same boat. Screening is just a whole nother skill you have to completely unpack for the kids. Exactly. And once you, I like I'm with you. I like them playing in space. So screens, unless it's unless it's a like a, a ball screen, a single side bump, or a naked ball screen, um, you know, screens are kind of counterintuitive to the spacing and the flow that we like out of this. Right. Because it, it completely changes the entire game. It changes, you know, I mean, we talked, I said it earlier, we talked about angles. We talk about, you know, contact on screens. Well, the angle screen is important. The timing of the screen is, I mean, we had a few actions that we wanted to run to get our, to get my post, the ball on the block. But even that, you know, we would, we would rep it out and work on timing and work on that screen we could just never get the ball entered in the way we wanted to, mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, which is why we tried to stick to loop kicks and pitch kicks more um, because we found that we were a little bit more successful with that. Gotcha. At least in entering the ball. Okay, so I'll come back here. All right, so again, this is empty on the right side, dribble exchange, he gets the flare. You know, the best thing about this is <clears> – <throat> And he, let me try to catch it here. If they don't, like, they did a pretty good job of switching this on the low side, and he ends mm -hmm. up shooting a good shot. Yeah. But what I love about this is all this. Yeah, all that space to drive baseline. And yeah. then and then you've got your, uh, your baseline drive. You've got your big diving back in middle for a dump off. And yeah. then you've got your weak side loaded with shooters. Yeah, so here's another thing I, I was looking at. Um, adding as we went along so we have we have an action called plug and um, essentially it turns into a you know the screen this this screen is actually the balls at the wing there's a vacated corner so they're empty over here so there's a lot of real estate the biggest setting a ball screen to the inside you've got a shooter up top and you refuse the ball screen basically to a point and there's a um Oh, I, I've been away from basketball so much. Essentially, there's an empty side flare uh, mm -hmm. or a backside flare here to the corner, but it's a screen rescreen. So, if you wanted to counter this counter and say you needed a three late, well, you could run empty up or whatever you want to call it. He could catch immediately, rip baseline, not with the purpose of getting to the rim, but to drop the defense. And then this screener now comes and sets a second screen here for a shooter trailing behind the pivot throwback. Yeah. I like that. So really it kind of opens itself up to, okay, well we need a three let's run empty up and see if we can get this three. And then, you know, if you run this right, I mean, if you look at the timing of it, really, you know, uh, from half court one, two, three, four, within four seconds, you can get a good shot or you can create that secondary drive within six seconds. You got the opportunity for another three. Yeah. So, yeah, so that's empty. 
And then side is the exact same thing, but on the left. All right, so here we run exchange again. So this is kind of what, what ends up happening is, you know, you just – the guys start to – again, we, we talk about guys being able to make plays and make reads. So, again, we run exchange here. He gets it, sees space. Instead of passing it, he sees the corner diagonal, yep. which opens up the baseline floater. Yep. Gotcha. Thanks for that, Mike.